Welcome to how to manifest somebody back into your life. So whether this be an ex, whether it be someone that you're attracted to, I'm going to share three tips on what you can do to really make sure that you are aligned with manifesting that special person into your life. But right after the show reel. <laughs> One of the challenges I see, especially when people are trying to get their ex back, is we create in our minds this beautiful, wonderful idea of what that person is for us, how they're going to interact with us, and what they do for us. So the first thing I want you to do to help you manifest this person into your life, whether it be your ex or whether it be somebody that you know, is write down the traits. Like what is it about them that you really like? that you enjoy? How do they make you feel? How do you think your life would be better if they were in it? And I want like really concrete examples, not just like I'm going to be happier, but like they help support me in my job. They really love and appreciate my children. They are financially stable, right? Whatever it is that you feel is really a good fit for you in your lifestyle. So that's step one is write down all of those traits and start looking at actually your past relationships and what traits weren't good back then. Like what did you not like in a relationship? And just kind of add those to the list too, right? Just see if there's any that really resonate of like, oh yeah, every time a person doesn't have that really good trait, that I really like, that I want, or that I see in this person that I'm attracted to, then it doesn't go so well. So make sure that that list of traits that you have is really powerful and really is long-term, right? How is this person going to suit you for the next two years, five years, maybe the rest of your life, if that's something that you're looking for, okay? Step two, Instead of, imagine it's not that person, right? So instead of imagining that person that you are attracted to that you want in your life so bad, also imagine what is the perfect relationship look like? How do they make you feel? How do they talk to you? How do they touch you? What kind of schedule do they keep? Do they drink or not drink, right? Do they go hiking? Do they sleep in late? Do they get up early? Like what traits do you need in your life that would really make a partner compatible? For example, I'm not really a big television watcher. So if I'm looking at somebody that I'm really, really attracted to and they watch a lot, a lot, a lot of television, I either have to realize that we're going to be doing different things a lot in our relationship or that I'm going to have to start watching a lot of television because I can't expect them to change, right? Or that they're not the right fit for me, even though there's a lot of qualities that I know and love and enjoy in that other person that I'm attracted to. Does that make sense? So write down those traits. That's step two, the things that make you compatible. And then step three, I want you to write down like, what are the absolute no-goes? In other words, what would someone have to do, say, or be in order for you to be like, mm-mm. Like, for example, if you have children and they don't like kids, that's probably a no-go, right? If you come from a family who's historically got some chaos or some abuse or some like verbal nastiness to it, and you're like, I don't want that in my life, that's going to be a no-go for you. Maybe you're super perfectionist and you're like somebody that can't pick their underwear up off the floor. <laughs> like, no way, man. So we've got these three things, write those lists down and take your time with it, right? Because like right now I'm hiking in the desert. And if you look around me, I accidentally found this canyon that's got all these trees and it's got these beautiful flowers that are starting to bloom. I, I was hoping for shade. I was hoping for something lovely, but I didn't expect to find it. So of course it was a lovely bonus and it makes me excited to be here. But if I had gone hiking in the desert just to try to find this and wrap my whole life around it and tried to change the desert to be <laughs> what I want it to be, do you see what I'm saying? This is what we do in relationships, right? We say, oh, they'll change or they'll settle down once we're in a relationship together. What you want are those people that are perfect for you right away. So now you're going to take those traits and you're going to evaluate that person that you are attracted to. And as you manifest that person, what I want you to do is set aside that person's name, set aside that person's image, set aside everything that you think that person is going to be for you. Because often we manifest things 
that aren't good for us because we limit ourselves in this little box. So what if that person you're attracted to or that ex that you want back has some traits and the universe is just trying to say like, hey, just know that this is important to you. Start watching for this in somebody else. And so now as you start manifesting that person, really just open up. This is what I want in the world. I want somebody that's going to be high energy and playful and treat me with attention and kindness, right? Who loves my nephews, who's financially stable, who's not an alcoholic, right? So there's, they've got some level of sobriety or control or whatever that looks like and know what that feels like. And then now, as you start moving through the world, trying to manifest your ex back or trying to manifest that person you're attracted to, you can also kind of keep your eye out because you can't change that person, including you can't manifest that person if it's not in their destiny to be with you or if you don't have what they need. And I know that's heartbreaking to say, but you might deserve somebody better. So now you can keep your eyes open to that next person. So write in the comments, what are one or two traits that you really want, need, and love in a partner? I'm Dawn. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Let me tell you, I am so glad I haven't been able to manifest some of my axes back. I mean, I thought I wanted to, but really it wasn't in my best and highest interest because I never sat down and measured the things that I actually wanted in a relationship. I just wanted the feeling. I wanted the love. I wanted the attention.